Peter Chang here for MachoCave.tv and today we're going to do an unboxing of the uh, Duke Nukem Forever Balls of Steel edition and a lot of you may already be familiar with Duke Nukem and some of you may not but uh, this game supposedly has been in development for the past 15 years and if you're like me you might remember uh, various iterations of the uh, Duke Nukem game uh, one of my favorites was the old, really old school uh, PC game where you could play it on the uh, actual like computer. And Duke Nukem used to be like this 2D side-scrolling game, and then uh, we saw various iterations of Duke Nukem through the years, and it got to be to the point where uh, this release of this particular release of Duke Nukem got so hyped up that. Uh, you know, like just because uh, of the uh, delays and in product development and what have you. So let's go ahead and open up this box here, and we see that uh, this is the Xbox version, by the way, and you can also get it in like a PS3 version and a PC version as well. So let's get this shrink wrap out of the way and check it out. Where you got "Hail to the King, baby." It's kind of like the uh, video game tagline in here. And looks like a lot of good stuff in here. And here we have a uh, playing deck. And check out the size of this playing deck. It's kind of, uh, kind of like a mini playing deck. You're not going to really be able to play an actual game of cards. It's, uh, it's not as big as an actual uh, card playing deck. We have poker chips in here. Uh, throughout the game, you're you're kind of battling in this uh, decrepit casino. So. Uh, poker chips are kind of fun to have in there. And then, of course, we have dice. And they have this little radioactive Duke Nukem symbol on the dice as well. And let's see. Let's try to get the game out of the box here. So here we see, like, the, the regular kind of box of the game. And if you didn't get a special edition of the game, uh, this is actually the box that you would be getting. Here we have a, a special Duke Nukem Forever comic book that comes with the Balls of Steel edition. And check out its uh, little writer credits and comic book writer credits. And it looks like Duke Nukem's battling mutant sharks in this issue. And very kind of a colorful comic book there. And love the artwork. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, pull out the the art book and this is what I love about uh, collector's edition sets is really the the artwork behind the game and it's a uh, it's kind of unfortunate like some some games are, are coming out now they they feel obligated almost to include like some weird plastic toy rather than a uh, art book I always find it kind of interesting to kind of uh, look through uh, the design concepts, like what were some of the uh, designs of the game. And what's interesting is that uh, uh, you get to see like all the different staff that's been through here and uh, some of the ideas and tribulations that uh, they used during the game development. Here we have a uh, paper foldable Duke Nukem. Um, I think I'll just leave that one shrink wrapped. It might be worth something later on. Uh, we also have a uh, Duke Nukem postcards, so you could uh, mail it out to all your Duke Nukem friends. Here we have a uh, certificate of authenticity. Uh, not sure how how much this was actually going to be weight, but uh, right now the way the game stands, it's not not the world's most popular video game. And we also have a, a Duke Nukem Forever bumper sticker. So, you can actually uh, profess your love for Duke Nukem on your car. And, of course, we have this uh, kind of plasticky uh, Duke Nukem uh, bus statue. It, it's, uh, it's supposed to look like it's granite. It's uh, uh, not really granite. It's actually just a kind of a chunk of plastic. And, but it's pretty interesting. And we also have uh, rubber feet for it, too. And... Some interesting parts in the game is that uh, when you're actually playing the game, there's actually little homages to uh, the past parts of Duke Nukem, and 
those levels are kind of fun. Uh, the game kind of alternates between, uh, you know, like crawl around shooter, and uh, and a kind of a homage to uh, Duke Nukem. Well, this is Peter Chang, and I hope you enjoyed watching the Duke Nukem unboxing. And I just want you to remember, everything matters. <laughs>